Hurricane Fiona brought fierce winds and flooding that washed away bridges and knocked out power in Puerto Rico. They absolutely are better prepared. Josh Dozer says the U.S. territory was hit hard, but the impacts were not nearly as bad compared to Hurricane Maria five years ago. Remember Hurricane Maria, it was a cascading failure across all 16 sectors, from telecommunications, fuel, transportation, health services. Dozer is a former deputy assistant administrator for FEMA, who now works with SOS International, a risk mitigation company. It takes time, they need time to build resilience. They're getting there, uh, but these, these disasters, are, they're, they're constantly uh, interfering with that effort. Earthquakes and political red tape have complicated the recovery from Hurricane Maria. Puerto Rico can also serve as a model for what vulnerable communities across the United States need in order to face and fight and become resilient to climate change impacts. Juan de Clet Barreto is a senior social scientist for climate vulnerability at the Union for Concerned Scientists. The Puerto Rican National says progress on a greener, stronger power grid and better preparedness is taking too long. The infrastructure that we need to have is infrastructure that can withstand not the impacts that we're seeing now, but the impacts that we are going to have because we are, going, we are locked into some level of global warming and the concomitant temperature rises, ferocity of, um, of, of hurricanes, storms, um, storm surge. We need an infrastructure that can protect us from the worst impacts that we still haven't seen yet. For AccuWeather, I'm Bill Waddell. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out these other videos here and be sure to subscribe for new content and the latest weather news from AccuWeather.